Hey everyone, it's 10 Types, and today we're looking at some more Pokemon DSG Pocket Cards. Today we're taking a deep dive into the Fire Pokemon. Previously, presumably based on my upload schedule, I talked about Grass Pokemon, and there are a lot of Grass Pokemon. There are like 30-something. There are not as many Fire Pokemon. There are, um, I don't know, I think there's like 20-something, but there's still a decent amount. They're pretty cool as well, and they have different elements to them and different attributes and are... I mean, each type is very unique. So I'm going to be talking about them. I feel like Fire is a fan favorite type. Um, you know, I haven't played with these cards yet, but I imagine they're uh, some of these are really fun. I imagine Charizard is really popular because it's it's Charizard, right? Charizard is, I mean, you had, there's the packs, right? You can see what packs these cards are from. Um, oh, these aren't from packs. I, I don't know. But um, a lot are from Charizard. Um, some are from Mewtwo. Some are from Pikachu, right? There's the three different packs. And Charizard is it's not just a pack it's a pokemon so we're going to start there and i feel like charizard is the defining fire pokemon first of all i want to talk about what they're like in their regular pokemon tcg honestly they're not that good traditionally like there are times when they've been solid but it's generally one of the weaker types um in like the bottom half it's not the worst type. grass is honestly regarded as one of the worst types in the regular pokemon tcg in pocket there there are a lot of grass pokemon which is really cool and some look really cool some are like pretty generic but some are really cool i talked about venusaur um you know one of the three starters uh, starter pokemon i think the I don't know how to start a deck store in pocket, but, um, you know, it's not one of the big mascot Pokemon, but Charizard is, and it does big damage for lots of energy. So that is a theme of fire, and on top of that, you do discard the energy as well. You can see this in the Charmander, the Charizard, and the Charizard EX. Charmander here for one fire, does 30, and you just got a fire from this Pokemon. This is solid, certainly 30 for one is um, decent, it's better than 20 for one, but discarding the energy is an issue. One of the things that is important is, for one, Pokemon, the essentially energy curve. So as you evolve it, you just attach like one more energy and you evolve it because that's just kind of how Pokemon works. And then you can attack. But you cannot attack with Charmeleon if you're actually attacking with Charmander over and over and over again. Because if you attack with Charmander and you attach energy every turn, you're not going to be building up energy on Charmander. So that is a big downside with that card. Uh, so Ember is a it's a sketchy attack it can be good it's solid but don't keep using it over and over if you want to get your charmander and charizard built up now charmeleon is pretty generic here not too much to say about it i feel like it's like okay stat wise but um, nothing super special but then you have charizard and charizard ex with some insane attacks insane good I don't know, but they are insane. They do the most damage in the game, the Charizard EX specifically. But first of all, Charizard EX does do 60 for 3. Um, does Blastoise also do? Yeah, no, that's just 40 for 2. But then Venusaur um, EX also does 60 for 3. Lovely. It's okay, certainly, but it's nothing super special. The other attack here, though, is Crimson Storm, which is the same, essentially, as Charizard's Fire Spin. They both cost Fire, Fire, Colorless, Colorless, so a bunch of Fire Energy discard two Fire from this Pokemon, so presumably you're just playing a Fire deck if you're playing this card. And then... Uh, the fire spin attack on the Charizard, the baby Charizard here, the single prize or single point Charizard, does 150, which is solid. It has 150 HP as well. It is one shotting most Pokemon, even um, like tanky Pokemon. Uh, it's one shotting this Polyrath. Um, what's this do? <laughs> uh, and then it one shots like Blastoise. It one shots Venusaur as well with weakness. We can see that big of a deal, but it does one shot that. So one shotting a lot of things, not one shotting everything though. This uh, Venusaur EX, Blastoise EX, you're not going to be one shotting those. You're not one shotting another Charizard EX, but you're one shotting at most or pretty much every single point Pokemon. I don't know if there are any you aren't, but then you have Charizard EX here, which does 200. This is one shotting every Pokemon I'm pretty sure in the game. So that's really powerful. You are again, discarding two energies, Specifically with the single point Charizard, you're not attacking after that. You could retreat, though, because you will have two energies attached to you. But, you know, Charizard is certainly a solid card here, but it's not something you're attacking with over and over again. Charizard DX, you can. You could do Crimson Storm. The next turn, do Slash. So Slash does have very solid value within the Charizard EX, like cycle i guess is how i describe it um you do crimson storm then slash then crimson storm or you could just use slash and not worry about crimson storm if that's doing enough but um a lot of the pokemon of the game have 60 hp but some have more as well right so i'm pretty sure people said that the farfetched is really good how much does that have i think that has 60 where's the farfetched um 
I should have gone to somewhere else. Um, I have a different tab. But Farfetch'd is a good Pokemon. Yeah, that is 60. Um, I don't know. Meowth seems good. Um, if anyone's played with it, tell me, is Meowth good? It seems good to draw a card. It's 60 HP. Um, there's a lot of just 60 HP Pokemon. It's the normal amount of HP. So Slash might be doing enough. It's normal amount for basics, though. For their evolutions. And this is a stage two, right? It's 300 on a stage two. So it's earliest the, the earliest turn is coming into play. Doing damage is going to be turn three. Slash, your opponent will presumably have evolutions in play by that point and won't just be giving you like essentially free prize cards by giving you a 60 hp pokemon to knock out but it is still a important part of this card and then we to talk about hey, a supporter card a lot of the types have supporters you got grass fire water darkness fighting lightning uh, apparently psychic does not have one uh have a supporter for it and also metal so that is unfortunate but uh what also it's still called like the types are metal and like darkness right in pocket um i've not actually heard anyone say i mean i've heard people say stuff but um the tcg types are different than the video game so are the pocket types the same as the like regular tcg types or are they I, I don't know anyways so <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have Blaine here. Blaine's a supporter that's pretty interesting. During this turn, attacks used by your Ninetales, Raptors, or Magmar do 30 more damage to your points active. This is in contrast to the supporter Giovanni, where you do 10 more to your points active, which is okay, has some value, but it's not like an auto include. However, Blaine, if you're playing, like Blaine is essentially a deck. We can have Ninetales, Rap Ninetales Rapdash, and or Magmar. Uh, you should, I think, play all of them. So Ninetales here has its attack 90 for two fire and you just cut a fire from this pokemon you can attack with this back to back if you just keep attaching fire to this pokemon if you are doing that you're not attaching energy in other places but it is a good pokemon i feel like i mean 90 seems pretty solid i said you know slash is usable on charizard ex i imagine um but nine tails you know three uh or just two energy one less energy and doing more damage is really nice 90 hp is, is okay certainly i said charmeleon is pretty generic um nine tails is going to be like better than that and then hitting 120 with Blaine is insane. You can't play multiple Blaine on one turn because it's a supporter, but it is still very strong. Hitting 120 for two on a stage one seems really good. Then there is also Rapidash. This is 40 for one. 40 for one is like, it's, it's mediocre. I said it was good on Farfetch'd, but it's this isn't Farfetch'd. It's not a basic, it's a stage one. But Rapidash is, it's okay. I mean, you have Rapidash in the active, setting up maybe your Ninetales or really whatever behind it. Magmar is hitting 50 for two on a basic, which again is like solid, specifically going first. If you started, I feel like it's good. Um, further going seconds better for attacks. So um, I, I don't know if like that's what you want to be doing, but certainly that is an option there. But then, then hitting 80 for two on a basic is quite strong. That's actually really good. And then 70 for one on a stage one, again, is very good. If you're playing Blaine, that means that your Pokemon this turn is now just a really, really strong Pokemon. And, um, I feel like Blaine is just a very good supporter. Not like broken. I, I don't know. If someone's played with it, someone, um, if you don't know, Pokemon DG Pocket is only available in New Zealand. Um, so, if anyone's in New Zealand, has played um, with like Blaine and the, some of these cards or all of these um, three cards. Is Blaine like that good? It seems solid. You know, it seems pretty fun. Uh, I do want to talk about the previous evolution. Uh, the previous evolution, the Ponyta has nothing special. It's completely generic. Vulpix, though, has a moderately interesting attack. Tail Whip for one colorless. Flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon cannot attack during your point's next turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure if they evolve, they can attack. And if they retreat, then the other Pokemon can attack. So, you know, Vulpix here is going to be a... Like, if it, you get heads, it is good for disrupting your opponent in the early game. Is it super... Or even in the late game as well, it can buy you turns, but... Vulpix isn't that good, but it is a nice little attack to have. And then there is Arcanine, which has an EX. There's a few EXs. There's actually three. I guess I should talk about Moltres EX. This is a very good card, I feel like. Um, it is an EX. It is uh, has a rarity of four. Is that what the rarities are? Do people just say it's like four? What are these? Like, um, diamonds or whatever. So, Inferno Dance, flip three coins, taken um, amount of fire energy from your energy zone equal to the number of heads and attach it to your bench fire Pokemon and anybody you like. It does do 70 for three as well, which is actually not, that's not like that good, but um, it, you know, it, it's okay. Um, especially when you're accelerating energy onto the board. Bolter CX is a very good starting Pokemon. It does have two retreat, which isn't ideal. If it was one, it would be better. You can use X speed to give yourself one less retreat. Um, or I don't know. I don't know if it stacks. I've said this before. I don't actually know if it stacks, but um, still, it is nice. You just play one and then retreat out of the active into whatever else you have. And that is, I think, very good for Charizard DX because Charizard DX, you need 
you know, you need lots of energy on it. Same thing with this Arcanine and Arcanine EX. Growlithe is pretty generic, it's not particularly good. But you have Arcanine here, which does 100. Um, it has 130 HP for Fire Fire, Scarless does 120 to itself, then Arcanine EX has 150 HP, so a little bit more though, not that much more, and then it does 120 and 20 to itself. Again, I feel like, you know, Charizard EX is noticeably better than the single point Charizard, the baby Charizard, but I feel like the Arcanine EX versus the baby Arcanine, I feel like the Arcanine EX isn't that much better stats-wise, and then giving up an extra point seems really bad. If you're able to retreat it out, you like survive some hits and then retreat out, it could be nice. Also, I said the HP is like kind of high, but you are damaging yourself. So if you attack multiple times, it's not that high. You can use like potion to counteract that, heal 20 off. But is that what you want to be doing? I'm not 100% sure, but definitely some really solid stuff um, here with, um, you know, this um, like solid damage output and, um, and nothing insane. I feel like Arcanine... Uh, it's it's okay, but it's not it's not super powerful. It's solid. I was talking about a lot of the grass Pokemon uh, last video, saying that their damage outputs are solid, but you're not really thinking about the damage. You're thinking about like healing and disruption and fast attacks and stuff. So this is like fire is definitely hitting. It's a big damage output type versus um, if you're looking at grass, that's going to be a lower damage output type. So fire, if you want to do big damage, it's good, but it is big energy cost as well. There is Flareon as well, one of the evolutions, 110 for three, and discard a fire from this Pokemon. Again, a very similar idea. You are losing the energy, so it's psyching up a lot of energy. The evolutions, uh, they don't really work together, which is kind of weird. I mean, they're just completely different cards. They can't be played in the same deck. I mean, they can be, but there's not really any reason to do that. Um, so Flareon is just a generic fire evolution here. Same thing with Salazzle. These are just like super boring stats, but it's not like a terrible Pokemon. Uh, Center Scorch here, again, you got that really high energy cost here, having 130 or 130 HP, doing 130 damage, but it is 4 energy, only one of which is fire, but it's still pretty expensive. You just card a fire, um, so just very expensive. High, I feel like this Pokemon's not very good. Um, this is Lead, does not do very much damage, it just does 10. Yes, it can hit for weakness, so it could be like a tech option. It is the best fire tech, I guess. I mean, there is like Vulpix, but that doesn't do damage, so uh, Sizzlepeed is a fire tech, but it's pretty bad. I guess it's not doing very much. Then you have Heat War. This is a solid Pokemon. I feel like 30 for one fire. It seems decent. And you have ADHP. I was talking about Farfetch'd. This um, does have, you know, more HP than Farfetch'd, which is nice and could be very good. Then it also does hit weakness, but if you, this would be played in a fire deck. Then you have Moltres. Uh, Heat War is kind of like the same thing as Scyther. I think it has more HP. Um, yeah, Scyther has 70 here um so very similar idea there's this pokemon this type of pokemon like this 30 for one on a lot of types so that's pretty you know pretty solid certainly then you have moltres um i will say heat more is like a fast attacker it's good early game not very high damage which is different than a lot of the other things you're doing with fire that is different than charizard uh, arcanine ex moltres ex things like that said scorch as well it's more in line with the rap dash and some of the blaine stuff so it might be like there's these two kind of identities there's the main big damage attack but then there's this slightly smaller damage but still solid damage but for less energies and less setup which i think is i don't know so something that i feel like uh, then you have more options if you have lower energy cost right so you could retreat more uh, and do more things like just retreat right and then you can also maybe set up some bigger attacker on your bench behind that then you have this moltres which is the last fire pokemon i believe um yeah so there's definitely less um fire pokemon with i think less interest than the grass but moltres here is a really unique pokemon it has 100 hp just 130 for 300 basic which is insane but it's only on a coin flip if you flip tails you don't do anything also moltres ex and moltres are the only two fire pokemon with different weakness I think Grass Pokemon were all weak to Fire. Yeah, they were, but the Fire Pokemon weak to Water, except for these two, which are weak to Lightning because they're like birds. So keep that in mind. Specifically, Moltres CX. I feel like Moltres CX is a very good Fire Pokemon. And this Coin Flip dependent. Also, Moltres CX and Moltres are just two completely different cards. Unlike Executor, um, Venusaur, Arcanine, and Charizard, but these two are just completely different cards. They do have this like shared theme of coin flips but like the basic does more than the um or the single prize or single point one does more than the two point multis ex which is kind of interesting um in terms of average damage multis ex will be doing more than the the baby multis here but barely more um it, they're very different cards but multis ex to set up something like charge dx could be really powerful 
I don't know how consistent that is, but certainly Moltres CX for the other EXs are solid. That is, you know, not as easy to get. Um, we'll see how what the economy is looking like when the game comes out. If Pokemon is going to, because in the beta, one of the big things I expect them to do um, would be to potentially change costs of stuff to make it um, more what they want. I, I'd say it's more affordable. Maybe they make stuff less affordable. We'll see, but. Anyways, fire type's definitely a, a cool type. I think it's going to be a fan favorite type. It's not my uh, favorite type. Looking at the cards, um, there are some heavy hitters, though. Less, like, versatile cards. Most of them are just straight up doing damage. And then you do have the, I think, a really cool supporter with Blaine. I, I do like Blaine a lot as a supporter. Notably, a few of the supporters, Blaine, Brock, and then Koga here. No, and the Lieutenant Surge. So a lot of them only attach or do certain things with certain types of Pokemon. Um, they're not just types, but certain very specific Pokemon, right? So just keep that in mind. But that's kind of like a simple place to build around. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, all the good stuff. And as always, I'm excited to see you in the next video.